Hey there guys, DW96 here from GroovyPost.com. Today showing you how you can change the icon of any library in Windows 7. So this comes in pretty useful when you're creating your own libraries. You can see here in my libraries I've created a movies library with a custom icon that I made in Photoshop. And today we're going to be doing the same process for another library. So first of all let's right click and select new library. I'll name this one TV shows because that's what we're going to be using it for. And now, uh, first of all, we need to make sure that we have an icon file prepared uh, for the occasion. So I already made mine in Photoshop and I've saved it on my computer. You can make your own or you can just look up some icons on the internet that you'd like. Now what you need to do is open up Notepad, first of all, and have it ready. Then open up your computer and you want to go to C users your username here then you want to go into the location and type app data like so then you want to go to roaming Microsoft Windows libraries and here are going to be all your libraries so you can easily just take one and drag it into notepad like so and here you're going to see all the vital information about that library, all the uh, details that it has. Now you can easily edit this information and to add in our own custom icon. Uh, simply we're going to add a new line just after is library pinned. So you press enter there, you add in two spaces and you're going to add icon reference. Now after you've added the line you need to put in the path to your icon in between. Now I'm just going to add mine. Then you want to click file and select save or simply press control s to save the file and then you can exit out and when you open your libraries there you go pretty interesting and your icon will be changed to the one which you selected so there you have it it's a pretty simple process and it's good if you want to create your own libraries and go beyond just documents music pictures and videos thanks for watching and visit groovypost.com for more tutorials like this